All right, so I just rolled credits on Jedi Survivor, and I'm completely blown away. I'm I'm so wowed. I I, I had such a good time. Um, so this is not a photo mode review today. This is just me rambling about the game because I'm so excited about it, uh, and I just want to talk about it and kind of go through some pictures. Um, there, there's not going to be any spoilers in these. These are pretty early game images that I'm showing. Um, nothing that you probably haven't seen in trailers or just assumed would already be in the game. So, yeah, I just want to very, you know, briefly go over some things that I really enjoyed in the photo mode. Um, one of them being the depth of field in the um, bokeh is, it, it looks so good. It looks so filmic. The images produced in this game compared to the previous game are miles ahead um, in its rendering. I'm, I'm amazed, you know, I mean, you look at some of these images that just have such a, I don't even know how to describe it really, it feels so cinematic. It's something of how they, they're rendering the, um, the depth. Um, so I mean, like, look at this one with like the Stormtrooper. When you look at what's in focus, like the lightsaber and the... Um, the stormtrooper's chest area but then you look at the stormtrooper's arm and kind of the helmet and the, you know the background of course and it has this sort of creamy look um, and i know i'm just describing depth of field but some games don't do it the way this game is doing it um, another game that does it well is horizon you know it it just has this very soft very creamy very realistic kind of blur it doesn't look like the game is just applying a blur filter it looks like it is accurately um presenting depth which is incredible um, another thing they it's completely new to this photo mode is lighting you can have three points of lighting um, i'll get more into that in the in the real review but uh it's great you know there's certain options if you look at the stormtrooper picture i took this in like the first three minutes of starting the game um, you can see kind of on on the trooper's armor there's a, a light green uh the, uh, from a light that I put a little bit away from that character and it just adds so much you know th there's certain shots where I've you know you can put lights behind them to give them a nice backlight and gives it like a little um it really outlines them well I, I love the lighting options they're fantastic um, and I love that you can put them anywhere you know like Gotham Knights you, they were all around the character which was great Gotham Knights is amazing um but this one you really could you could put it absolutely anywhere um, another thing is the camera range it's amazing you can go so far out you can go so far that it lets you see like you know things you know the developer maybe wouldn't want you to see like outside of the map i love when games let you do that a it's cool to just see um you know how our levels constructed and this is something that was in the first game and so i'm glad they didn't feel they need you know to remove that i love how far out you can go you can get these sweeping wide shots it's absolutely amazing um the other thing there are so many beautiful locations in jedi survivor i mean truly just jaw-droppingly beautiful in particular the opening level coruscant super fun because you know star wars we get a lot of sand um, we get a lot of you know and sand is rough of course and it gets everywhere so that, that can be a bit annoying when you see that a bunch um <laughs> you know you've got like forest worlds but we don't get to see a ton of city i mean even in the movies like the the, the most coruscant we get to see uh, is in attack of the clones and so it was nice to open the the game on coruscant and it's got this cyberpunk vibe i just absolutely love it uh Lastly, the detail in this game is is truly unbelievable. I mean, the, the the amount of little things that are on each character that is in each environment. Um, there was this little area I walked into on this desert planet where it was like a, a not a greenhouse, but a, a there was this character growing plants, and I was just so intrigued by that visual. I came around the corner and I was like, "What is this? What's going on?" And that's the kind of Star Wars world building that. I just love and I feel Respawn does so well because all kinds of locations have that. They, they they present you with an image and you're asking questions. You're like, how did this get here? Why is it here? Um, and usually they answer those questions uh, in a really cool way, whether that's by, you know, force echoes or you talk to someone. It, it, it's fantastic. I, I absolutely love this game. This video was a bit of a ramble, but yeah. Jedi Survivor, it's fantastic. The photo mode is amazing. I have taken over 500 photos. I just checked on my console, um, but 
it's been so much fun. So I can't wait to do a full review. And yeah, if you're playing Jedi Fallen Order, what are you enjoying most out of the photo mode? Or what are you not enjoying out of the photo mode? Let me know.